hello traders this is trader k i'm back from trade like gan youtube channel and trade like gan website so today we are going to talk about the most famous cycle from the youtube platform of wd gan is cycle of repetition so let's explore what is this cycle of repetition and how does it work and why it is so much famous and also where we can find these cycles from the book tunnel through the air this is going to be a pretty good video so let's start well uh, when starting I'll, I'll start with what wd gan is referring uh, as the cycles and also especially the cycle of repetition this is trade like can website where you can find the book tunnel through the year the specialty of this website is you can view the book without even downloading the book so here around page 77 it's not exactly 77 it's actually page 78 it's important that you know this first secret that I'm going to be sharing in this video is WD GAN uh, will be off by very very slight margin it is a uh, kind of intentional WD GAN does not want to throw something that is very important let's say that with the number 77 it might be a number like 76 77 or 78 this thing this intention showcases the concept of orb okay in page 78 in specifically uh, in this paragraph he states something very very important that can help us uh, when we are searching for the cycle of repetition in every law of nature there is a major and a minor a positive and a negative a negative and a neutral therefore in cycles there must be a lesser a greater and intermediate cycle or cycles within the cycles like ezekiel says wheel within a wheel this is very very important what he is trying to explain here it is not like that he is explaining one stuff one thing here it is like multi-leveled he is trying to explain multiple things here there is a very very clear hint that there are two sets of cycles at least to my understanding there are two sets of cycles one set of cycle there is a major and a minor and also there is a different set of cycles that have positive negative and neutral like this has three levels of cycle and this has two levels of cycle that my understanding says what WD GAN is trying to explain here this is the planetary cycles and this is something from advanced stuff you can say the law of vibration okay but there is a catch you can have three sets of cycle at the planetary level okay I'm not going to explain how and uh, where you can find those in this video but you can have that okay now let's go back to the chart and we need to talk about something special uh, when we talk about planetary cycles WD GANS planetary cycles there are uh, actually multiple planetary cycles but the base of the cycles are the lunar cycles I have multiple video in my youtube channel regarding the lunar cycle and if you are smart enough you can actually find out the lunar cycle length from like one or two of my videos I'll not say specifically but you have to do your work uh, let's get back 
to the point the thing is when you are using the cycle of repetition it's more like a dependent cycle the cycle of repetition cannot be used by itself it is a dependent cycle you have to use a smaller cycle than cycle of repetition uh, to make the cycle work or to know where the cycle of repetition is going to pivot okay let's let's see uh, example i think that will help okay these are lunar cycle pivots i intentionally kept the uh, days here okay so this is just rough, roughly an assumption it it is not the exact cycle dates i'm, I'm just putting it here because uh, i know how this works and this is this is how it actually works uh, if i had done all my work all my background tests and stuff perfectly the cycles should be uh, should look like actually something like this so this is the lunar cycle for our uh, example we uh, assume that this is a lunar cycle you can see there are not many pivots that are uh, more than 10 days or 8 days even like right the lunar cycle is not that uh, slow cycle it pivots frequently in a month the lunar cycle will turn five to six time in a month by this i mean is if you if you forecast like five to six months okay you sh and if you count the uh, turning points there should be on average there should be five to six turns in a month okay so it's not like that in every month in every 30 days there has to be five to six turns okay there can be slight uh, orb you can say okay in this 32 days we have one two three four five this is kind of ideal but not every month is ideal okay so you have to uh, have an estimate of how to uh, find out if your cycle work is good enough or not this is a very good uh, filter mechanism okay and the cycle of repetition will turn roughly three times in a month so because the cycle of repetition is uh, a larger cycle comparatively lunar so it will not have three turns in a month in, in every month actually there are there will be some month where you will see only once the cor is uh, uh, pivoting okay not every month you will have three term, three pivots okay if you count down like uh, uh, 12 months or 5 to 6 months there should be roughly three pivots in a month okay or three turns in a month let's see an example of how the cors are actually uh, uh, work and how they look alike with the lunar cycle so as you can see i have drawn uh, yellow lines and specifically i also kept the dates uh, the days in between so maybe we have some inversion in between but for this example we are taking a very simple example where we can see how these cycles work so we have a uh, few pivots few pivots where the cor is roughly the same length as the lunar cycle and we also have few pivots where the cor is larger cor is larger than the lunar cycle we have one two three four we have four pivots here for the lunar cycle whereas we have only two pivots for the cor so, so if i had to give you a very good example this would be a very good example why you can see the cor pivoted low here then it goes uh, to a high turn roughly around 31st may of 2022 but see the lunar cycle is pivoting high and low and also the price action of the market is also choppy so these these actually indicate what is the larger trend 
and if you see the larger trend was in the downside this is how the cors will uh, actually uh, perform in your market if you have the correct cor and there are also a lot of stuff that you have to understand before finding out a cor and i am going to actually give you a lot of info in this video okay 